Hello, and welcome to Real-Time AI, bringing together Dataflow, TensorFlow Extended, and Cloud AI. My name is Sergey Sekalenka, and I'm a product manager in the Google Cloud. I wanted to start with a motivating example. We recently worked with a public safety agency, which processes tens of gigabytes of security logs per day. But on only a few thousand of these logs are of high importance to them. The current processes for analysis and finding these important logs were based on heuristics and manual interactions, which couldn't scale to the growing volume of logs. So this agency engaged with Google to process large-scale data sets uh, and wanted to build an unsupervised solution to identify logs, review them, and label them. In another example, we worked with a national telecom which carries the critical mobile traffic for a nation. This telecom needed to address security, vulnerability, and malware threats, and their current techniques, which were based on traditional signature-based patterns, were insufficient. They just couldn't be updated fast enough. So this telecom wanted to analyze sender and receiver traffic and find anomalies in the traffic and act on them. The common factors to these examples, what is common to them, is that there's a large number of events that is produced by a global user base, which creates billions and billions of interactions when they use these systems. Another important uh, common characteristic or factor is that uh, our customers want to react to these events in near human intelligence with near human intelligence and apply a high intelligence than just counting numbers or creating and calculating statistics. And lastly, our users want to react to events in near real time. This is best visualized by the following graphic. Businesses realize the highest value from events when they act within a time, uh, tight time window after the event creation. Another opportunity to extract value from events is by storing these steaming events in data warehouses and doing analytics on them. In between, there isn't much value to extract because data is stale or is difficult to access and not in a data warehouse, which, uh, which means it's not very valuable. Across our customers, we see two types of common needs, recommendations and anomaly and pattern detection. Recommendations are about analyzing customer market signals to present compelling offers and customized content. For example, in the retail industry, you could create upsell offers uh, for your cards. In the media industry, you could uh, select the next video or song to uh, show to a customer. In the financial industry, you could suggest a, a new insurance offer. And in the telecom industry, you could create a hardware offer or a service upsell or cross-sell. For anomalies and pattern detection, here's what customers want to do is examining, examining streams of data to identify data points which are outside of the norm. Uh, in the financial industry, for example, you could uh, detect insider trading. In retail, you could uh, find uh, account theft or uh, credit card uh, fraud. In the cybersecurity industry, uh, as we've seen in our motivating example, you could do denial of service attack prevention. Uh, and in healthcare, you could do patient monitoring. And so if we want to take these use cases, and if we want to act on them to drive behavior and not just act and discover things after the fact, when it's too late, we need to use machine learning and streaming analytics technologies. And this is what real-time AI is about. It's the difference between preventing fraud and just discovering fraud. It's the difference between driving more sales in shopping carts versus seeing carts being abandoned when customers move away from, uh, from them. Machine learning together with steaming analytics and the global event network uh, allows us to do real-time AI. The Google Cloud offers a comprehensive set of tools for model training and inference. BigQuery, for example, allows you to do model training and predictions right inside of your data warehouse. Outside of BigQuery, GCP has the Google Cloud pro uh, Platform, Cloud AI Platform, and TensorFlow Extended. Cloud AI Platform offers training, inference, and many specialized services for video, image, 
text processing, and other types of uh, unstructured data processing. TensorFlow Extended is a platform for production use of machine learning, and it's centered around TensorFlow, but is available not just on the Google Cloud. What is common to all these machine learning options is the solid integration of data flow as the data processor. For example, for BigQuery, you can use streaming data flow to onboard data into BigQuery and then pre-process it before it lands there. Once the data is in BigQuery, you can train your models using BQML, which is a variant of SQL, and export the trained models uh, and use them inside of uh, data flow for streaming predictions. For the Cloud AI platform, Dataflow integrates with Kubeflow, which is the orchestrator of machine learning pipelines. Cloud AI platform also uses Dataflow internally to do model training on CPUs or GPUs. For TensorFlow Extended, Dataflow enables all large-scale data processing, both for feature pre-processing as well as for model improvement. We can also bring streaming events and do streaming inference. Remember our motivating example with the public safety agency? Well, we worked with this agency and created a solution that is based on a time series anomaly detection uh, solution and is powered by Dataflow and TensorFlow Extended. This solution uses LSTM encoder decoder pattern, and it reduced the number of logs that needed to be monitored manually from billions per day to just a few thousand per day, which is doable for uh, for their uh, analytical workforce. This solution is now available on the cloud.google.com data flow in the real-time AI section. The solution consists of three steps. In the pre-processing step, we convert log data to a time series uh, TF record formatted data set, and we store it in cloud storage. Once the data lands in cloud storage, we begin the model training step, for which we use the Cloud AI platform training API. And this is where the encoder decoder LSTM model gets created and stored in the cloud storage again. A parallel data flow pipeline is running and consumes this uh, LSTM model uh, and then uh, scores each incoming data record uh, creates both a reconstructed and actual time series, compares the two, and flags differences and anomalies. The output is again stored in cloud storage. In our second motivating example, we also developed an anomaly detection solution, which processes streaming events, call records for this telecom, uh, and the processing is happening in data flow and the online inference is also happening inside of Dataflow. We use BigQuery ML to train a k-means cluster model. And we also use Cloud DLP to de-identify and anonymize network traffic records before they're being used for training. Once the BigQML model is trained, it gets deployed into the streaming data flow, and it's used for detecting anomalies in real time. This solution is also available on our website, cloud.google.com slash dataflow real-time AI. Here's a graph that represents how anomaly gets detected using a k-means cluster approach. The solution finds outliers by measuring the distance between them and the centers of the clusters. Outliers that have a distance of more than three standard deviations of the cluster are considered anomalies. This solution is also structured into three steps, the feature pre-processing step, the model training step, and the anomaly detection step. In the feature pre-processing step, Dataflow is reading data from PubSub, the call records, and is using Cloud DLP to anonymize the incoming records. All call detail records in an anonymized form are stored in BigQuery. And uh, we use BigQuery ML to train a model uh, that creates a k-means cluster uh, model. This model is then used in a parallel data flow pipeline 
uh, which reads the same call detail records and scores them against the, the model. The anomalies that are found are outputted into PubSub for further action. The solution is available on our website under the real-time AI section. Feel free to discover and customize. In addition to the two existing solutions that I just covered, today we're announcing new components and new solutions. Uh, we created recently new Apache Beam components, we call them transforms, that integrate Dataflow better with Cloud AI platform. These components are for video analysis, for image analysis, text analysis, DLP, and many other areas. We also created a TFX component that can be embedded into Beam pipelines for streaming predictions either on locally loaded models or on remote models, and the API stays the same. In addition to the new components, we're also releasing today five new solutions for anomaly and pattern detection. You can use these solutions as is, you can customize them, or you can use them as examples for the components that we developed and uh, provided for you. Let's see what these solutions do. These solutions allow you to do three types of things, pattern detection, anomaly detection, and predictive forecasting. For example, for pattern detection, you can find objects where they're not supposed to be. You can use our solutions to anonymize and de-identify operational data, a very common uh, need by users. You can also use our solutions to reduce shrinkage by tracking packages door to door. Those are just a few examples of uh, the application of our solutions. For anomaly detection, uh, in the telecom case, you can find malware by detecting anomalies in traffic between senders and recipients. For financial services, you can find anomalies in currency pair and stock trades. You can also find fraudulent transactions uh, or money transfers in an account. For predictive forecasting, you can use our solutions for equipment maintenance. For example, you can forecast the probability of equipment failure based on images, and then send technicians to address those uh, forecasted uh, uh, failure conditions. Let's look at our first solution. The solution allows you to detect patterns in video clips. And here we integrated with the Cloud Video Intelligence API for uh, object recognition. As data gets, as video clips get stored in cloud storage, we get a notification about these clips through PubSub. Uh, into Dataflow, and the clips get uploaded into Dataflow uh, and uh, processed through the Video Intelligence API. Once we know what objects are inside of uh, video clips, they can be cars, cats, uh, persons, or uh, moving objects, uh, the labeling information is stored together with the clip metadata either into BigQuery or into Pubsa. Dataflow here is used for several things. For example, we do smart clip partitioning so that a one minute long clip gets processed in just a few seconds. Dataflow can also do a smart batching of uh, video clips to fully exhaust your available quota and increase your throughput. You can use file inputs as well as real time inputs, meaning pops up messages uh, to indicate that a new clip is available uh, and information, uh, information about labels can be stored in data warehouses, in file systems, or in messaging buses. This solution, as the previous two solutions, are, is available on our website and can be reviewed in the real-time AI section on the Dataflow page. In our second solution, second new solution, uh, we allowed you to predict equipment failure uh, by using and analyzing the images of this equip equipment. Here we integrated with the Cloud Vision API and we looked for pattern, patterns in images. As data and, and as images get uploaded to cloud storage, notifications are being sent to Dataflow. Dataflow reacts to the availability of new images and calls the Cloud Vision API. Uh, and once we have the labels and classifications of objects inside of images, we store this information in BigQuery. 
You can use this solution today as is, or you can customize and change the pipeline logic because in addition to the solutions, we also gave you the standardized Apache Beam transforms, which you can integrate in any kind of pipeline you have today. You can also save costs uh, through uh, Dataflow's smart batching approach. Dataflow is using its uh, state M timer API to convert a stream of image files into micro batches uh, and calls, uh, calls the API, the Cloud Vision API, efficiently and fully exhaust the quota and the capacity that you have. In our next solution, we allowed customers to anonymize and de identify PII data. And here we integrated with Cloud DLP, which is Google Cloud's service for anonymizing private uh, PII data. The service also provides tokenization, de identification, and other services. Dataflow here is, is used to maximize the throughput of the Cloud DLP API. Uh, again, we are using the Dataflow state and timer capabilities to smartly batch together calls to the Cloud DLP API and use your resources efficiently. You can use file sources, you can use real time sources. And data, uh, clean data can be stored in a variety of outputs, including BigQuery, PubSub, uh, Cloud Storage, and other things. This solution, as many others, is available on our website. Uh, please navigate to the Dataflow web page and review the real time AI section. In our next solution, we implemented and integrated with Cloud AI Prediction API to find anomalies in financial transactions. This integration is not just specific to the financial services industry. You can use this pattern across many, many industries. Our particular model to find anomalies uh, is based on boosted trees. So it gives you another pattern to, uh, to put into your uh, toolbox of anomaly detection solution, solutions. The model was trained in the Cloud AI training API and deployed and hosted into the Cloud AI prediction API. Dataflow, as in many other cases, is used to optimize performance and throughput. Uh, it micro batches calls to Cloud AI and it increases the throughput of your system. In our last solution, we are using yet another approach for anomaly detection. Here we integrated with uh, TensorFlow Extended and used the run inference transform that was recently developed and released. This transform allows you to have your models hosted both inside of Dataflow as well as remotely in Cloud AI Prediction. Before we use Prediction, uh, prediction API, uh, data actually needs to be pre-processed. And here's, uh, here's where Dataflow's uh, strengths are coming to, to play. Data get, gets onboarded, raw data uh, from uh, external data providers gets onboarded through PubSub, uh, and it gets aggregated in Dataflow. Specifically, we divide raw trades into time windows and run a variety of statistics on them. For example, calculate means, candle statistics, as well as the RSI stats, which stands for Relative Strength Index and is an indicator of, uh, of movement of data. The pre-processed uh, pre data records gets, get transformed into TF example uh, records and stored in cloud storage, from where we pick up yet another TFX pipeline and use cloud AI training to create the model for the actual anomaly detection. This model is also based on LSTM encoder decoder approach. Uh, it's trained in cloud AI training uh, and you can deploy it in two places. You can deploy it either in Dataflow itself on the Dataflow workers for local inference, which reduces latency, or you can deploy this model in Cloud AI Prediction API for remote inference. The interface to these calls is always the same. This is where you can use our newly developed TFX run inference transform. This solution, as many others, is available on the Dataflow web page under the real-time AI section. Just to illustrate what Dataflow does to pre-process 
raw stock trades before they get uh, used in the, in the training of the anomaly detection model. Uh, take a look at this graph. As raw event, events representing trades enter the, the pipeline, we divide them into time windows uh, represented by accumulators on this graph. And we calculate rolling window statistics on them. For example, we calculate the mean of these uh, time windows, and we calculate dependent and, uh, uh, and, and, and other statistics. For example, the RSI index. Again, RSI stands for relative strength index. With this, I would like to wrap up my session and uh, just go through the main points uh, of, the, uh, of the session. As you've seen, you can use Dataflow today for data processing with a variety of machine learning technologies, including BigQuery ML, Cloud AI, and TensorFlow Extended. We've recently launched new Apache Beam transform, transforms for video, images, DLP, and text processing. We also released a new TFX uh, transform that integrates with Beam for generalized streaming predictions. And we launched and released five new solutions for anomaly detection and pattern recognition. If you would like to learn more, please go to cloud.google.com slash dataflow and find the real-time AI section. Thank you for watching this session. I hope you found it informative. Till next time.